Hey everyone, Will here, founder of GoToMarketGuru.com. Welcome to my Breaking into Software Sales mini lecture series. In this first episode, we're gonna talk about the elevator pitch. What is it? How do you nail it? How do you structure it? How do you derive content and more? I hope you enjoy. If you do, feel free to like and subscribe. Check out more content as I post it, as well as my website, GoToMarketGuru.com for a professional software sales course where I map out the entire software sales cycle for you so that you can be a top performing rep on day one. Enjoy. The elevator pitch. So what is an elevator pitch? We all probably have an idea from Hollywood of you know someone running into an elevator and then giving the pitch of their life in 30 seconds to convince that founder CEO that they should get the internship or the job. Um, that's kind of what it is, you know. Uh, at, at a high level, an elevator pitch is a memorable description of who you are, what you can offer, and why someone should be interested you, in you. It's extremely relevant to getting a job, but also once you get into sales, you'll be doing it all the time. The variants come in different forms. There's in-person, there's social media, and there's over email. Email. Uh, as far as length goes, it depends on the medium. So in person, maybe 30 seconds long. Uh, as far as social media is concerned, maybe 300 characters. And over email, that's going to translate to around 100 to 150 words even. Content wise, there's going to be you know a fairly firm structure advocated in this course. An introduction, a mission statement, a bridge statement, and an ask. More on that in the next slide. And then lastly, the goal. What is the goal of an elevator pitch? Well, it's to get a second meeting and or a referral. You're not going to get the job offer right away, but what you are aiming for is that person's time. So how do you do it? Now let's dive into a breakdown of what a successful elevator pitch looks like. So to go off of our hypothetical example, let's imagine you've run into the elevator and you have 30 seconds to convince the CEO that you're the right person to hire. Okay, where do we start? Well, we start by recognizing that this is what you look like. You're a suit with a clock on your head taking up their time. It's very important because the CEO has no context of who you are and there's a number of questions that you need to answer. The first one is, who are you? Who are you? You start then with an introduction. Makes sense, right? Well, the second question they're going to have is, okay, you, you've given them an introduction. Now they want to know, what do you want? That's where you provide a mission statement. You outline what your goal is. Once you've done that, the question they're going to ask you is, well, why should I help you? That's where you provide a bridge statement, essentially connecting what you want with them. Once they understand who you are, what you want, and why they should help you, then the question is going to be, well, how can I help you, and when and where would you like to connect? And that's where you provide an ask. That's where you basically expose your demand, what you ultimately came in there for. So you've provided an introduction, you've given a mission statement, you've connected each other with a bridge statement, and now you're asking. And it's very important, all the meanwhile, that you come off as confident, genuine, kind, and capable. Because guess what? There's lots of other suits who are interested in that job. And if you don't come in with clear structure and intent and answer all the questions in 30 seconds that are on that CEO's mind, then you're going to get brushed away and they're going to bring in the next suit. So extremely important to have a framework here and to come prepared. So can we go through some examples of what that looks like? Absolutely. Let's dive into the next slide. Well, let's go ahead and dive into you know a sample elevator pitch that utilizes the introduction, the mission statement, the bridge, and the ask. So this is kind of a master narrative. It's good to have a master narrative that you can customize. This is hypothetical, even though I used my name. The introduction. Hi, Joe. My name is William Evans, and I'm an economics major at Utah State, set to graduate in the upcoming spring. Okay, so now Joe knows who I am, where I study, and kind of a little bit of a time frame. He has an introduction. Joe's next question is, what do you want? That's where I give him the mission statement. Well, I'm actively looking to break into an entry-level role in the technology sales space and was hoping you would be able to give me some insight. From Joe's perspective, it's like, okay, I know who you are. I know what you want. I've added some color. You know, maybe the clock is going away. Maybe I have a little bit more time for you now. What's the, what's the, what's the bridge statement? Why should I help you? Well, specifically, Joe, I have developed a strong interest in growth stage cybersecurity software firms and saw that you have extensive experience in the field, particularly in outbound sales. Okay, so now Joe knows why he should help you. His next question is going to be, how can I help you? When and where would you like to connect? And that's where you have the ask. You know, what's the core deliverable here? Well, 
I would appreciate any insight or help you could give me regarding opportunities that are available and how best to approach them. Would you be open to hopping on a call? Let me know if you have any availability this Thursday or Friday afternoon, perhaps. Regards, Will. So as you can see here, a very effective elevator pitch, a master narrative has been made with a clear structure. An introduction, a mission statement, a bridge statement, and an ask. In this way, Will is able to communicate to Joe exactly what he wants. Now we'll move through some different variants depending on the medium you use. So, as mentioned in the previous slide, we're going to look at different variants depending on what the medium is. The first medium we'll cover is in person, and we want to keep this to 30 seconds on average. You notice I've taken away the structure, so we're going to kind of have to figure it out as we go. But we'll start it off with, hey there, my name is John and I'm a business major at Penn State graduating this upcoming spring. Introduction. I'm looking to get into software sales, particularly machine learning and big data analytics, and saw from your booth that you guys operate in the space. Mission statement. I've been reading up a lot on the sector, but felt that coming here today would be a great way to network and get a feel for what it is, what is out there. Bridge statement, would you be able to give me a high level view of what Data Inc. does and how your experience has been so far? That's the ask. You can see a clear structure, very effective. You can deliver that and personalize it in 30 seconds. The next variant we can look at is a social media uh, message that is limited to 300 characters. So it's pretty tight. Hi Mary, my name is Lynn and I'm a history major at UCLA graduating this spring. There's your introduction. In this case, we're going to combine the mission statement and the bridge statement. It goes, I'm looking to break into software sales and recently saw an opening at Cloud Tech in your department that I feel I would be a great fit for. Okay, now the ask, would you be open to hopping on a call to share your experience? Lynn, this all fits into a 300 character LinkedIn message. I double checked and made sure for the course. And so it's very effective. It has a combined structure, but it gets the point across. The last medium is slightly more formal over email, 100 to 150 words, and we'll go through it. I'm just going to read through the whole thing, and you can pick out the structure on your own. It's fairly obvious, I think, at this point. Hi, Patek. My name is Anna, and I'm a computer science major at the University of Illinois. We spoke at the Tech World Career Fair last Thursday at your booth, if you recall. I'm writing to follow up as I was thrilled to hear about your experience working at 3D Central and recently saw a position opening in the BDR sales department that I feel excited about applying to. To prepare my application, I've been actively studying the 3D printing space and I was hoping you would be open to connecting again and share some advice on how best to prepare. Would you be open to hopping on a call sometime this week, perhaps? Anna, I probably should have had a question mark there. Be careful to pay attention to grammar. I still make mistakes. But you can see a clear structure, okay? There's an introduction. There's a mission statement. There's a bridge statement. And there's an ask. And there's different variants. In person, social media, and over email. So I hope that gives you some good sense on the elevator pitch. I encourage you now to write your own and just you can make it hypothetical um, or you can make it real um, and just practice and rehearse. Practice and rehearse so that when you do meet people at a career fair um, or you do start messaging and sending out um, emails, you'll have a really good master framework that is repeatable that you can leverage. So now we're going to go move on to the resume component.